Hey guys, so I wanted to kind of talk about Golden Goose sneakers. So they've become super popular, um, really high price point. I think the lowest I've seen is five thirty-five or something, and then they go up. Um, some of their specialized and like private editions are almost a thousand. Um, I have a couple pairs. I've had a couple pairs in the past, other than the ones I have now, um, and I just want to kind of talk about a little, talk about them a little bit because I find them to be uncomfortable for uh, some of the pairs that I've had. Um, I'm gonna just kind of talk about um, the pairs that I have and then show you a different pair of sneakers that I just got that I hear are like amazing. Um, so my favorite Golden Goose is gonna be the Runner. So this is, um, it's called Running, I'm sorry, Running. Um, definitely not a running sneaker. I am not a runner. Um, the thought of running for enjoyment is strange to me. Um, but this is the runner. What I really like about Golden Goose and what attracted me to them in the beginning was I hate dirty sneakers. Nothing like having a fresh pair of white Converse only to get dirt on them. And then you wash them and they always have that like kind of like yellowish color to them. So what attracted me to Golden Goose was that I'm already buying them like this and they're supposed to look like this. So if I get something additional on them, it's not gonna matter for my, you know, in my head. Um, so I started with a pair of High Stars, which I don't have them anymore. I ended up selling them because there's people that love them. Super uncomfortable. I loved the look of them, but they were so uncomfortable. Um, and I've had some of the um, Superstars and I'm gonna show you the pair that I currently have. And you know, they're okay. The runners are definitely my favorite um, for the comfort aspect. Um, and I just, I, I do like them. I like this, it's fairly a neutral pair. Um, and I'm just really happy with these. The only thing is they're a little bit heavy, um, is my only kind of um, negative opinion about them, is that they're kind of heavy. But I do love these, I wear these all the time. Um, and they're just really nice looking. I've seen some other pairs that I really want. I can't, they don't have my size. Um, I am a size 40 in these and I could probably go to a 39, but I'm, I need to go to a store, which we don't have any near me, um, to try on the 39, but I really do like the runners. So that's the runners. Definitely, if you like a comfortable shoe and you've tried other ones, try the runners because I think you'll really like them. Um, the other pair that I have are a pair of Superstars, and I really do like this colorway. Um, I like kind of, you know, a simple color and then having a little, um, color here, um, in the back. And I wear white, black jeans. I do not dress in a lot of color, so that's why this kind of works for me. Um, these are okay. I mean, they're pretty worn. You guys can see they're pretty worn on the sides. Um, again, that's how they came. The toe is really worn, you can see here. Um, but I don't necessarily find these that comfortable. Um, if you guys have ever seen them, um, or have never seen them, when you pull them out, like the sole is super thick and hard. I've heard if you change the sole out, it might be better, um, which I haven't done. But, you know, I might try it. Um, I just don't find these as comfortable as the runners, but I do love the looks of them. Um, I've heard the ball stars are really comfortable. I've never tried those. I should probably try those. Um, but I love the look of these. I just wish they were a little bit more comfortable and I think I might try to change out the insoles. Um, but selling these secondhand has always worked really well for me because you sell them at a fairly good discount if they're used and people just scoop them up because everyone wants these. Um, but I really just don't love them. So, you know, I've, I, there's a guy on TikTok called Wally who works at, I think it's Wally, works at Saks Fifth Avenue and he talks about sneakers and, um, you know, he said this, there are some Adidas that are really nice and um, I've never tried those, but maybe I should. Um, I am definitely a Converse girl. So the Converse All-Stars, I have a pair of platforms that I wear all the time. They're all white. Now, granted, they drive me nuts and I wash them all the time, but they've been holding up okay because I hate when they get dirty. 
So New Balance have, has recently become super popular and I'm seeing them everywhere. It's like all over TikTok, my Instagram, everything is New Balance. Um, I remember trying New Balance like when I was younger and I think it was like the 574s. I think it was the regular 574s um, that I tried and I just thought my foot looked big in them. I didn't really like them. Um, but I found these and I love them. Now, my anxiety is already through the roof because how white this is here. I'm gonna spray them. Hopefully the spray protectant I buy will work. But how cute are these? And I will tell you that I tried them on and they are so comfortable. I tried them on last night as soon as I got them. Um, and they are fabulous. They have so much comfort. I feel like I could walk in the city all day with these or like at Disney or wherever. And these would be absolutely fantastic. So really great for comfort. I'll um, kind of update once I've worn them a little bit. But I love a platform because I feel like I'm super short. I'm 5'6". Um, I just like being a little bit taller. But I absolutely love these. Love the colorway. Um, really, really happy with them. So that's my opinion on Golden Goose. Um, if you guys have anything to make them more comfortable, please let me know. Um, I think I'm going to probably try a pair of ball stars on, um, coming up here, um, to see how I like those. But, um, so far, if you want a comfortable sneaker, try the, try the running golden goose. Um, cause I found them to be very comfortable. Thanks guys.